Hello YouTubers, Wheelhouse Kraus here. I've um, been watching survival videos, EDC, bug out bag videos, prepping videos now on YouTube for maybe about two years. I've done a review on uh, my cooking kit and I was thinking that, you know, I've been building Altoids uh, survival tins for family and friends for maybe about a year now after I saw my first video. And, you know, the best part is that with everyone you build, you find something new to do or something better, you know, a better way of doing something. You watch someone's video and you find out their tricks and you incorporate it into your own. And it's the best part with uh, social media is that no matter where you are, we can share all these ideas and, you know, um, make it, make ourselves a better product in the end. So I thought I'd share my video on uh, my personal tin. Um, you know, it may not be uh, elaborate like some, but... You know, at least it's something. And that, that's the one thing I think everyone needs to understand is that these little kits, bug out bags, things you have for your EDC is different from everyone else's because of what you believe you need. You know, your situation, your geographical location, where you work, how far you have to get home, so on and so forth. So feel free to leave some constructive criticism if there's, you know, something you think I could fit in there or something I, you really think I don't need. Feel free. I'm a big boy. I can take it. So uh, let's get into the uh, Eltoids tin. So also saw I never had these elastic bands for a while, but uh, I saw a video that had them, and I stole them from the produce department at my local grocery store. So hopefully the produce manager's not watching, and he would get upset. So, bam! First thing you're gonna see on the top: <clears throat> regular razor blade and a needle. Electric tapes there. You can use that for other uh, uses, but uh, you know right away you have a sharp item uh, to make some cuts. I mean, worst case scenario, cut something out of your body, a sliver, or you know anything they have in there, and you have a needle. Uh, you'll see later in the kit that I have some uh, dental floss to use to sew stuff up. So, as it just falls out there, water purification tablets, very important. <clears throat> even even if I have a very small amount of water, at least I can purify it. Inside this, I have uh, waterproof matches, a striker, uh, f fishing line. I'm not really sure how much. I just kind of wrapped her up in my fingers until I thought it was enough. Some dental floss, uh, assorted hooks, sinkers, uh, all in one kit. Also, I, I got an idea from a guy on YouTube. I, I wish I knew his name, but I'll put in the comments. With these uh, screw-in eyelets, great idea. Very small amount of space they take up. Uses, unlimited. But uh, the main use is for a fishing, fishing rod. Get a, a branch, you can put this on the end of it. <clears throat> Do some casting, get, get your line out a little bit further. Great idea. Pencil with uh, some duct tape on the end of it. Snare wire, not only for hunting, but also for most survival situations. I mean, you needed to do a MacGyver rig job on something to, you know, get moving, carry on with your point A to point B uh, transit. Birthday candles. I know I see a lot of kids that have like the big uh, candles that they cut into a square, but I really wanted to save room, and I'm not going to be lighting them for light, so I figure just some small ones. So here's my light. Came up with the idea. Saw it in the dollar store and just a normal glow stick chem light. I used to cut the top off here so it would only be this. But I figured I'd leave that on in case I needed light over, you know, under under some branches that I put together, but uh, short term solution for some light because really you're not going camping with this kit. So in the SAS survival guide I uh, saw they had a bouillon cube. I didn't have space for it so I just flattened her up threw it in a bag and uh, worst comes to worst a little bit of water in the tin at least you have something to you know wet your lips with that has some kind of a taste now everyone's gonna be different on this one <clears throat> but I chose a leave leave I really like the way that it uh, aches and pains <clears throat> headaches it gets, rid of it gets rid of it quick for me so I chose to put four leave again we're, we're here and this is a personalized kit if you want to put morphine in yours Go ahead. You know, it, it's up to you. Um, a lot of kits I see have like four or five, six band-aids. Um, 
I chose to add some gauze in too. You never know, stop some kind of, uh, you know, larger cut abrasion. Use it to aid in the cleanup process. Also two alcohol wipes. Two band-aids. Two right in the rain uh, pages out of a book. And the bottom I have uh, tin foil. I don't know how much tin foil. Everyone says like, oh, I have like, you know, eight square feet of tin foil in this thing. I rolled it out until it was long, and then I folded it up pretty good, and that's how much I have. Seems like enough. Now, also with the tin, I mean, in my EDC I carry a signal mirror, but the tin's also good. You can see the light flash. I mean, that's gonna send some flickers somewhere up into the sky. I mean, it's better than nothing. So. If you have only this tin, polish it up a little bit, somebody's going to see that. So concludes my portion of uh, my video on uh, Eltoid Survival Tin. Feel free to leave any comments. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching my video. Subscribe to my channel. I plan on doing a review of my EDC, uh, Maxpedition Fatty, and also my Bug Out Bag shortly.